Hey everyone, today I want to show you this free online video room design tool from Crestron. This isn't going to be a full tutorial, it's really easy to figure out. I just want to show you what it does because, well, I didn't get what it does. I thought it was, well, you know, what it says, a room design tool we can lay out where our tables are going to be, where our microphone is going to be, so that way when we walk into our, our room like this with our box full of gear, we're not figuring things out for the first time, we'll have a, a game plan. And it does do that, but it does a lot more than that. It understands the devices in the room and the dimensions in the room, so you can check your microphone coverage. And if you have Crestron's Automate VX solution, you could even use this to configure the devices in the room and the multi-camera experience. Let's go through it and you'll see what I mean. So I start by uploading my floor plan, and it doesn't have to be some fancy engineering software file. It's just a PNG or JPG. And here's my, my room. And you can see I have my tables, chairs, and my monitor. Now, before we start dropping in our gear, let me show you a few things that make this intelligent. The first is I'm going to show my scale. So let's go to, it could be in inches or millimeters. Let's go to inches. And I set my scale. And I know this table is, it's a six foot table. So I draw my line and I put in in inches. And now the system knows the size of the room. The next thing I want to show you is the origin point. Go to under view, and it's this little dot. You could move it around. You probably won't need to unless you have an odd, unless you have an odd shaped room. But I just want you to know about it. It's important because it gives a location to everything in the room. It sets an X and Y coordinate. So the system now has spatial awareness of all the devices and locations in the room. Obviously, that's going to be useful for ensuring coverage and for controlling the advanced camera switching for Crestron's Automate VX multi-camera solution. Okay, so let's hide the origin point, just get it out of the way, and start building out our room. Now we could add furniture, we could drop in chairs, tables. I'm not going to, my room is set, but if you want to build your own room or just reconfigure a room, you can add table, chair, and display. Now let's place our cameras. So we can add a camera device. If we have one of these models, it knows them, we can leverage its capabilities, but for now let's just use a generic camera, and we'll put one at this side of the... Uh, at the monitor, and we'll add another one at the other side. And let's add a third one at the back of the room. And I, I can't wait to show you in a few minutes how we can figure this. It's really cool. But for now, we've dragged them into position, and you can see if we click on one, the system knows its X and Y coordinates because of our origin point. Next, let's drop in our microphones. This is where it really starts to come together. This is kind of the cool stuff. And as you can see, it knows a lot of different models of microphones. But again, we'll start out with just unknown to keep it generic. And we'll move it. This looks like a good location. Uh, if you work with these things, you know it matters which way these things are facing. And we have our first ceiling tile microphone in place. Now we need to add our virtual mics. Let me explain what that is really quickly. In the old days, we used to have a physical microphone at each chair. So it's it a lot easier to program. We know if the physical microphone is being used to have whatever camera activate. We're not having a physical microphone, so how do we know when someone's speaking at each location? We set up a, a virtual microphone. You could just think of it as a speaker location spot. So I'm going to add one and just drag it over to the first chair. And you can see that it's tied to, it's coming out of this uh, ceiling tile microphone. Add another one. And see how there's a red line there? It's too close. It doesn't like that. I have to make sure they're far enough apart. Now it's happy. So I could set up a virtual microphone. And in a minute, you'll see how we use these and tie them to the cameras. It's really cool. But let's say I want to put one at one of these chairs all the way at the back of the room. The line turns red. It knows the capabilities of the microphone, especially if I didn't use a generic one and picked one of the specific ones. And it's saying, hey, it's, it's not going to work here. So what I need to do is add another microphone. So here's the second ceiling tile. And then under this ceiling tile, I create its own virtual mics. I'm not going to fill out the whole room now. And now we have coverage at this spot. And these virtual microphones, these speaker positions, they don't have to be on a chair. We could put one. Let's tie one to this microphone. We'll add a new one. We'll put one at the front of the room. Uh, for the for the presenter, for the teacher. So this is where it gets really cool. You've seen the demos for Crestron's Automate VX uh, multi-camera room experience. This is how you program it. So you tie each virtual virtual microphone, each speaker location to a camera. Let's set, let me show you how I do that now. So this one, it's set to camera one. 
And actually, to make it easier to see, I can go into the view settings and turn on shot visualiz visualization. So it shows what each camera is capturing. So I have, um, let's say I want cam uh, I want this one. I don't like that angle. Uh, the teacher's gonna, it's gonna get the teachers back. So I want it to be camera two. So I set it to camera two. And you could have a primary and secondary. So if this camera's in use, it'll go to this one as a backup. So, and if I want to make sure, this is where it really gets cool. Our teacher, I don't wanna get the teachers back of the head. I want them to only be captured by camera three. So now you could see if this person starts talking, it goes to this camera. I'll make this one a backup. If this person starts talking, it goes to these cameras. And if the teacher starts talking, it goes to this camera. And you can even adjust the shot width from here. This teacher likes to move around, so let's give them a little, a little walk in around room. Now here's the best part, and what I didn't get at first, I thought, okay, so now we're sure we have our coverage. You do a better job than I did designing your room. You make sure you have your coverage, you like your camera angles, and you print this out and you go to your room and then you go and configure everything. But no, you don't have to. You, if you go to File, Export Project, the file type, it, it's a specific file type. And when you upload it to Crestron's Automate VX, it connects to all these network devices and programs them. This, it's programmed, it's done. You just physically connect the devices, upload the file to Automate VX, and the room will work exactly how we set it to work. Now, I didn't show you everything. This is a free online tool. I'll put a link below. Check it out yourself and play around with There's a lot of other stuff. Like, for example, if you want to set up a blocking zone, let's say there's a, a loud air filter in the corner, you can add a blocking zone and drag it there. And now this microphone won't pick it up. There's a bunch of other cool features, but again, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to let you know that this is not a simple room design tool to, to put down your tables and chairs and decide where you're going to put your microphones. This is how you program and fully configure your rooms. I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you're using this tool and, and what you've been using it for. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.